Alright, welcome back to the Soul Calibur 2 Let's Play, and, um, I was actually thinking, considering how I'm going to be going through arcade mode with every single character, I think it's gonna be a little bit unfair for me to continuously play through Talib, even though she is, like, my go-to preferred character. So, for the sake of this Let's Play, I'm gonna try and alternate through every single part. There's no random button, so, uh... Okay. <laughs> After all, it is. I don't know, I'm just gonna go, like, one space ahead or something, I don't know. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see how this uh, let's play goes. By the way, I am completely unfamiliar with Astaroth's playstyle, so I am fucked. <laughs> Anyways, we'll we'll see. We'll, we'll see how this works. Maybe I could make a. Maybe I'll find a way to like experiment with new characters and see my, if there's going to be a new main that I might want to try out. And yeah. <laughs> Anyways, if you're in the search for Soul Edge, you should head east. He past the land of Thuban lies the free city of Bestach. With its never-ending flow of people, perhaps you can gather information there. Following Edgar's advice, you set off towards the east. You did not know if you would really find information about Soul Edge in Bestanach or not, but it is better for wandering aimlessly. You look. You turn to look back once, just once. You win this time, said Leon after the battle, but I'll catch up to you soon. Tomorrow, I'm going to take the test again. Oh, and I've heard you're searching for Soul Edge. If that's the case, then we'll surely meet again. It seems we're rivals with the same goal. I'm looking forward to our next encounter. You faced forward again and began to walk. Your journey has begun. Okay, began to walk. Your journey has begun. You found your path blocked by a great Thuban River and... Oh god, oh no, 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 no. Okay, I had to do Talib with this one because fuck this mission. This mission is... Oh my god, I forgot. I completely forgot about this mission. You have to land 20 hits and I believe 20 seconds. It is horrible. Um, okay, I guess this is... You guys can read it. Uh, actually, no, fuck it. I'll read it. it. It might be a good way for me to understand a little bit of the story, but I'll just say this. Fuck this chapter. I was stuck in this chapter for so goddamn long, and you just had to... It's basically a good way for you to learn, like, combos, but for the longest time, I just, like... You know, whatever. Anyways. You found your path blocked by the great Thuban River. Following the river in search of a place to cross, you soon came upon a ferry boat crossing. You immediately headed for the pier, but it appeared, <laughs> appeared to have been abandoned for some time and there was no one else around. Fortunately, there was still a boat remaining, but as you prepared to launch it into the water, a human figure be appeared before you. He claimed ownership of the boat and demanded that you give him all the money you had in exchange for the right to cross. He was obviously abandoned, preying on travelers in the area. You sighed and drew your weapon. If you hit him a few times, odds are he'd just be able to give up on the way. Okay then. This is Voldo. Oh god, the this is the bandwagon. Okay. You a sword so land 20 hits on the enemy and survive the round. Wind, guide me. Alright, I think I'm good with combo with her specifically. Final but uh... Battle. Fight. Yeah, it's basically one hit per... <laughs> Alright. No, 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 no. That's not good. Yeah, I'm not gonna ever make this. Up. No, I did it! Yeah! First try, too, but I swear to God. Like, considering how I was close to, like, failing that mission right there, I could it could have gone, like, either way, honestly. Like I said, I really don't like this chapter. You're gonna have to be pretty like fast on your reflexes, and you're gonna have to know a lot of your about your characters. I know basically, um, Talon's go-to four combo hit KO, which is basically square, square, triangle, triangle. It's very easy, but like I'm pretty sure there's um, other characters that also have some easy combos to remember. Just go into the training mode, try to, to experiment them out, and yeah. Anyways, yeah, I had to switch to Talon there because I would be screwy forever if I did this with Astra. Sorry about that. <laughs> For real though, we're gonna go with Astra for the next mission, which I hope it is. Okay, strong gust constantly pushing and preventing you from stopping at the edge of the street of the stage. Defeat the enemy under this condition. This I can handle. I think I'm I'm good with this. I'm not sure if weight has a definitive factor at all because Astroth is a big fuck, but I don't think that really matters whatsoever. Anyways, after crossing the Thuban River and heading east, you came upon a small village. Judging from the fishing nets hanging dry in the sun, this was a fisherman's village. A comp. A commotion in the village square piqued your interest, so you head over to take a look. There you found the young people of the village engaged in the test of strength. They fought one-on-one -on, -one on a wooden scaffold 
a champion eventually emerged, but just when you thought the hubbub was subsided, the crowd's excitement grew. You looked around and find the source of commotion, only to realize that you were the cause. The villagers had learned that you were from Regulus. They pushed you up onto the scaffolding without giving you a chance to speak. You found yourself facing the young champion. He didn't notice you when you were fa when you were down on the ground, but up on the scaffolding, the wind was strong. It threatened to blow you off the platform at any given moment. Okay. God, it was just after my ass. Huh? Hey, isn't that Leon? The fighters face a gruesome exterminate. All right, let's do this. Final battle. Fight. So yeah, that's the win. I think the best way for me to do this is to make sure you're at the. No, don't, don't, don't. First off, don't do what I just did. No, no, I'm gonna. Yeah. That's another thing I had to mention about this game. Rings out exist, and basically, if you manage to uh, ring out an opponent, it's an instant death. So uh, good luck. It's gonna be a little bit tricky. The like I said, I have no idea how to play as Astroth whatsoever. Scum. Quit now! If you want to live! Final battle! Fight! Disgusting. Oh, wait a minute! Crap, crap, I'm gonna ring out, I'm gonna ring out. Come on, we both what? rang out at the same time! That's no fair. Uh, Alright, let's try this again. Although, that one move I did where, like, Astroth was using his left hand to, like, completely, like, obliterize the axe and fling, uh, Young Sun upward. I think that's a very good way to bring out the opponent. Final battle, fight! I'm not sure exactly how I did that, though. Oh, crap. No, no, no! What? Ashoth is pretty hard in this one. For this mission specifically, he's pretty slow. It's a good thing you get uh, some sort of accommodating uh, uh, reward, regardless whether or not you win or not. You just get more rewards. Uh, okay, looks like it's up and final. I don't know. Let's try this again. No, no, I'm in the. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna be here for a while. And to think the last mission is the one that I was afraid of. Uh, no, this mission, I think, is fun. It brings an interesting gimmick to the the usual fighting style playthrough. I'm still trying to remember what that uh. Move was, uh oh, I have, a I have a better idea, honestly. Bye, Young Sung. <laughs> and that's what I like to call playing the pacifist. That's probably the easiest way to beat that mission, honestly. Is to just go on the sideline and just wait for the wind to blow your opponent away because it doesn't seem like they're countering that wind whatsoever. It seems like these villagers are not very that bright <laughs> when it comes to their own contraption. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, a new road stage, the Minkar Mine. Ooh, this one's a maze level, so there's going to be pretty much a gauntlet of uh, battles, I believe. Um, Astrod's going to be horrible for this because, like I said, no clue how to play this guy whatsoever. But we'll see. Navigate through the enemy-infested dungeon and defeat the boss. Having defeated the hero of the village, you expect it to be torn apart by the crowd, but instead you seem genuinely impressed. They seem genuinely impressed. Even the young man you defeated praised you, despite the fact that I didn't really do anything to kill him, but okay. <laughs> Even the young man you defeated praised your regular training fighting skills. You quickly made friends with the straightforward, honest villagers, but it seemed they had a problem. The mine upstream was poisoned, the, was poisoning the river and killing the fish. They were planning to send people to speak with the miners, but the miners were a violent group, uh, and the river people ooh, excuse me, had no choice but to prepare for the possibility of a fight. Having come to like these people, you soon found yourself agreeing to help them, as expected. The negotiations did not go well. The miners immobilized the villagers with poison and forced them out of the mines. Due to the poison, however, they couldn't even make it back to the village. Fortunately, it seemed you had not drunk very much of the poison. You infiltrated the inside of the mine. You needed to get the antidote to save the villagers, even if you had to take it by force. Alright, so what this is basically is a dungeon-like area, and this is going to be very simple, but eventually, the area map is going to expand to like multiple different pathways. I think for now, it's just going to be a little bit more linear. You go from each, uh, each uh, space, now, defeating a certain enemy. Don't scream, worms. <laughs> I'm through with words. Final battle. Fight. I do like some of their dialogues though. 
No, 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 don't bring out me. Holy fuck! I'm gonna, yeah. As soon as he did that low attack. Actually, I should have probably blocked low instead. I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh, well, whatever. But, uh... I think you have plenty of chances, at least. So it doesn't boot you out in the media to the map screen or anything. It boots you just still at the dungeon. Watch so you have plenty of chances to do that. Thank goodness. Final battle. Fight. No, it's not. Oh. Oh, that was great. That's weird. Is that like a phantom hit or something? of my health it looks like it regenerates all the way through so i get a good chance of going through dungeon to dungeon without having to worry about my health whatsoever i go repeat the dungeon if i want to but that's gonna be worth some time so we're just gonna keep on progressing the fighters face a gruesome quest to search be gone you scum so you want me to knock you out final battle <laughs> fight <laughs> I kind of like Maxi's design, I just don't like his uh, fighting style whatsoever. But he's basically like an Asian Elvis, and you can definitely see that. Oh crap, I missed! Right, I wish I went to a parry there, but I was, I think, a frame beforehand. Not a frame beforehand, but like several frames before. Uh, actually initiating the attacks, so I failed in that regard, and uh, Maxi manages to attack me, and not necessarily calm me. I got to do that my chances soul. there. Don't scream. Final battle. Fight. Oh shit. Oh my god. So you should really, really uh, cover how to, uh, uh, get rid of uh, grabs or anything, but in order to get rid of grabs, you just input the same grab command that the opponent did. So if the uh, opponent grab with square and X, you also press square and X at the same time. If the opponent grab with triangle and X, then it's the same vice versa, basically. Oh, this is a very straightforward dungeon. It's only three battles. Versus Yoshimitsu. Fate conspired to arrange their battle. I'm not sure if I unlock Yoshimitsu once I beat him, but we'll see. Yoshimitsu's fun. No matter what incarnation it is, whether it's Soul Calibur or Tekken, he's always fun. Final battle. Fight. Oh man, okay, this guy looks like a lot more impressive, so I better not let down. As soon as I get perfected. Alright, let's try this again. Versus Yoshimitsu. Final battle, fight! It's a little bit weird to play Footsie's faster off, he's just that slow. Crap. Ow! Oh! Oh man, that's good. That's good. Oh, damn, I was hoping for a ring out there for a second, but he blocked, so... Ooh, that was a close one. No, no. Oh, wow, that attack missed. That was a close one. A new feature has been unlocked. I get the feeling that I unlocked Yoshimitsu, but I need to know just in case. Let's see here. Yep, Yoshimitsu is not selectable, so we unlocked one out of the... Hold on. Four plus five. Out of the nine unlockable characters. Hooray! <laughs> We still need to unlock like Sophitia, Sungmina, Charade, Assassin, Lizard Man, and Berserker. And I'm pretty sure I missed one character because that was not eight characters that I mentioned. Huh, whatever. Um, I think this game is actually going to go pretty quickly. So I'm, I don't remember this game having too many chapters. So yeah, I'm going to say that we're going to do each recording session per chapter. So we'll be right back with the next episode of Soul Calibur 2. Weapon mastery, and I guess that's a good way too for me to. Um... Oh no, it doesn't like loop around or whatever. So I'm just gonna close my eyes and select you, Taki. Okay, well, we'll be right back with the next episode of Soul Calibur 2. Stay tuned.